Dan, we've now learned the identity of the girl who was killed. Who was she? Well, hi, Anna. First of all, as you can see behind me, uh, there's this makeshift memorial with flowers and balloons as people uh, are going to file into the school for this community meeting. Just so much sadness here. And we can tell you uh, the name of the, of the girl who was killed. Her name is Zoe Galasso. She's a freshman student. She was sitting at that table when the shooter uh, approached them. And, of course, we don't know why, but from what we're hearing, uh, he went basically behind the, the friends. These were friends of his and just started opening fire. Well, I can tell you that Zoe uh, was described as somebody who had a larger than life personality, a vibrant smile, and they don't know why the shooter would target her of all people. Take a look. I just want to know that Zoe was an amazing person and she's going to be missed. And I don't know, I just can't imagine how we're going to live without her. And she was so. She was so beautiful and she was just so funny and amazing and we all loved her so much. <sighs> I don't have any anger t towards him. I, I just don't know what happened. It just doesn't make any sense. None of this makes sense. They were all very good friends. They were, they were great friends. There's no explanation. Like he snapped for whatever reason and it just doesn't make any sense. That's what makes it so hard. Well, in addition to that account of the teacher trying to intervene and stop the shooter, we're also getting some new information from law enforcement, a law enforcement source telling CNN that the shooter, Jalen Freiberg, attempted to reload his weapon, but he was having trouble because his hands were shaking.